The story is about how an average high schooler is loved by all, but he thinks that this love is in fact bullying. He does not know that everyone admires him for his personality skills and how cool he is. Even if he thinks he is avoiding people, it somehow turns into people like him more. That's just Honda-kun for you. Will Honda ever realize that what he thinks is bullying is in fact his classmates' love towards him? Find out by watching till the end. The story begins, and we see the Honda Force, a couple of guys who are the elite fans of Honda and do everything in their power to make things good for him. One of them gets to know that an anime coming out featuring Honda-kun, and they all start to debate as to how the various studios will portray Honda-kun's character. They talk about whether Honda-kun will be a strong buff man or have romantic comedy, or maybe he will have a science fiction character. During their talk, they learn that Honda-kun's anime already has episode one that was released. They scold themselves for not watching it earlier. In an effort, they call the studio to see if they can replay the first episode, but they get rejected. After they fail to make their own Honda-kun episode, they get mail for episode one. As they watch, we are introduced to Honda Sei, who is a second year high school student. He is very good at calligraphy. Honda is the most popular student, revered by all for his incomparable calligraphy skills, good looks, and cool personality. However, due to an endless series of misunderstandings, Honda perceives the worship he receives from his legions of fans as bullying, leading the school's idol to shut himself off from the rest of his schoolmates. People find it cool that he is so secretive, and even call his personal area the Honda Wall. One day, Honda found a letter in his shoe locker. Because Honda had an unpleasant experience in middle school, Honda also thought that the letter might contain threats directed at him. He became overthinking because of many things, and decided to immediately throw the letter in the trash. But apparently, the person who wrote the letter is a girl named Maiko, who had seen Honda throwing her letter into the trash. Maiko's best friend, a girl named Juri, then asks Honda to apologize to Maiko for throwing away her letter. Juri told Honda that Maiko had been struggling to write the letter all night. Honda also apologized to Maiko and asked the girl to say directly what she wrote in the letter. With an awkward tone, Maiko said she wanted to tell him something and asked the young man to meet behind the school gym after school. Suddenly, he became overthinking and thought that the girl and her gang might be bullying him. Various scenarios appeared in Honda's mind, however, that just made the situation worse. Moreover, Juri was always looking at him with a sharp gaze, as if she was always watching him. Honda then gets an idea to write a letter to the girl, but because Honda doesn't know her name, as he is writing, the teacher calls him out for writing calligraphy while it is math class. So the teacher asked Honda to work on math problems in front of the class. Honda walked up while everyone looked at him. He thought that they were smirking, but in fact, they all were happy to see him come in front of the class. Honda smirks and says that he is good at math and does not need to worry. He uses his calligraphy pen to paint the answer on the board. Juri looks radiant because Honda always stares at her. Juri also secretly likes Honda. She also thought of confessing her feelings to him, especially after Honda gave a letter to her which was written in beautiful calligraphy. Juri, who misunderstood, thought the letter declared Honda's love for her. However, Juri immediately feels guilty, thinking that she is betraying her best friend, and decides not to tell Maiko about the letter she received from Honda. During lunch, Maiko appears and has lunch with Juri, and quickly eats one of her rice rolls. Juri thinks that Maiko is always doing mean stuff to her, and that they don't have any good memories. Juri actually felt annoyed when Maiko openly said that she befriends her, as she does not want other cute girls to be a stepping stool for her, which clearly was an insult to Juri, who is pissed and does not want her to have Honda. As class is about to end, Honda looks more and more worried because he doesn't get any response from Maiko, and keeps on writing letters. As school ends, Honda can't think why Maiko has not responded back yet, even though he sent so many letters. Everyone leaves, and they all decide to get behind the school gym to see what happens. Since the plan didn't go, as he had planned, Honda decided to go see Maiko after school and clear up any misunderstandings. Long story short, Honda finally went to the back of the school gym, where Maiko and Juri had been waiting for the young man's arrival, like other students who were curious about what would happen between them. Seeing the many people there, Honda immediately felt nervous, especially when Maiko handed him a pink envelope. On the other hand, Juri tries to stop Maiko from expressing her feelings to Honda, because Juri now considers Maiko her rival in terms of fighting over Honda's love. She keeps throwing away the letter, as Maiko tries to hand it to Honda over and over. They soon start to wrestle. Maiko, who is already small, can't seem to let go of Juri's grip, which is monstrous. Meanwhile, somewhere, some guys call Kawachan to come and see the girls behind the gym. The word spreads, and everyone thinks that the girls are fighting over Honda, but Kawa is not interested in such matters, returning to the fight between Juri and Maiko. Juri tells Maiko the harsh truth that she seems to spit out hateful comments without knowing. During their squabble, Honda took the opportunity to rush away. Before he leaves, Honda tells Maiko and Juri not to fight over trivial matters, and asks the two girls to take care of each other. However, Maiko still insists on handing over her letter to Honda. Honda said her writing was awful, and left the girls just like that. Maiko looks sad and disappointed when Honda rejects her feelings and mocks her writing. Juri then entertained her best friend by inviting Maiko to take a calligraphy course so she could write a beautiful love letter to Honda. The next
next day, Honda's class voted to determine the class president. A young man named Aizawa Junichi, who has often been the class president, is again running for the class president. On the other hand, Honda had no idea why he was chosen as one of the class presidential candidates, even though he did not run. Because one student did not attend school, the vote was even. Aizawa then asked me to do rock, paper, and scissors. Even though Honda had intended to give up so that Aizawa could win the game, it turned out that Honda was the one who came out as the winner. Honda, who didn't want to be the class president, resigned so that Aizawa could replace him. However, Aizawa refuses and assumes that Honda did it out of pity for him. In the end, Honda remained the class president, while Aizawa became the vice class president who promised to help Honda wholeheartedly. The scene then switches and shows a handsome young man named Nikaido Ryo, who works as a model. Nikaido was quite popular, but after he became Honda's schoolmate, his popularity fell far short compared to Honda. Nikaido, who doesn't accept being compared to Honda, decides to follow Honda secretly to discover the secret to Honda's popularity. Nikaido had lost track of Honda and tried to look everywhere for the young man's whereabouts until his clothes were dirty. Not long after, Nikaido saw Honda entering an area with many talent agents from entertainment companies. Because he doesn't want Honda to be recruited by the agency that houses him, Nikaido tries to stop them from seeing Honda. However, his efforts were in vain because the talent agents had already seen Honda and asked the young man to wear his chosen outfit. However, Honda politely refused their request and put the outfit on Nikaido. At the same time, Nikaido finally realizes that Honda is very kind, making Honda very popular at school. After that, Nikaido no longer cares about popularity and chooses to accept himself, especially now that he has also been fired from the agency company. Nikaido thinks that Honda is so perfect and is elegant. Meanwhile, Honda is cursing a lady who cut in line at the bus stand. A few days later, Honda is asked to give some printouts and summaries of lectures to a student named Tsutsui Akane, who often skips school due to getting bullied all the time. As a class president, he must care for his classmates. He takes the address and a picture of him so that he can recognize him and heads to his home. Arriving there, Honda thought there was no one at Tsutsui's house, so he decided to leave. But then, a tough-looking delinquent boy approached Honda asking what his business was here. Honda tells him that he was here to hand school notes to Akane. The delinquent then claims that he is Tsutsui Akane, which surprises Honda because Tsutsui's appearance was completely different from the one in the photo, where Tsutsui used to be thin and had a cute look, so he was often bullied by his schoolmates. Because of that, Tsutsui decided not to come to school anymore and locked himself at home. Honda even shows him a picture of the sweet and cute boy, and the gangster dude says that he is the same person. Since his duty was only to hand over the file that was entrusted by Aizawa, Honda then handed the file to Tsutsui. However, Tsutsui misunderstood and was about to hit Honda with a bat. Honda stood still and Tsutsui thought Honda was pretty strong, but in reality, Honda could not even see the bat, and the pole had saved him from getting his head blown away. Tsutsui explains that after getting bullied for having a girly face and decided to change, and at home he saw an advertisement on television to make his body strong and muscular. After following the ad's advice and training for weeks, he had finally managed to have a strong and athletic body. Tsutsui is no longer bullied, and instead becomes a delinquent, so he no longer cares about school. Honda says it's fine, and hands over the file to Tsutsui, and is about to leave when some punks from another school come to take revenge on Tsutsui. But the punks quickly run away when they see that Honda is over there since they had heard of his crimes and rumors about being a ladies' man and bear killer, so they all ran away from him. Later on, Tsutsui, who had been reluctant to return to school, became touched by Honda's attitude and the sweet note left in the file, so he decided to return. The next day, Aizawa and his classmates were happy that Tsutsui was returning, but when they saw Tsutsui, they seemed very surprised to see the drastic change in him. Even Aizawa did not know that he had changed so much. On the other hand, Tsutsui decides to always protect Honda by becoming his bodyguard. The scene then switches and shows a young man named Kondo Yukio in a group with Honda, Aizawa, Nikaido, and Tsutsui in a cooking class. Kondo is an ordinary student, unpopular, and always acts normal towards Honda, despite his popularity in school. When Aizawa, Nikaito, and Tsutsui fight over what dish to cook, Honda plans to make a pudding instead because he thinks it's pretty easy. However, Kondo immediately realized that Honda wasn't very good at cooking because the young man used strange ingredients to make pudding, such as soy sauce and salt. Not long after, an incident prevented Honda's group from continuing their cooking activities, leaving only Honda's pudding. Kondo tried to warn Aizawa and the others not to eat the pudding. Honda made because it must taste bad. However, Aizawa and the others still appreciated the dish because Honda had already made it for them. So even Kondo had no choice but to join in tasting Honda's pudding. Honda also has a good friend, a young man named Kawafuji Takao. However, because Honda thinks everyone hates him, he doesn't want Kawafuji to be affected so every time he sees Kawafuji he runs away. While in class, Miyoko accidentally drops an eraser. Thinking that Miyoko might be angry with him, Honda gave the girl his own eraser. The girls think that maybe Honda likes her. After class, the girls don't let Honda clean the class and they tell him to leave. On his way home, Honda always meets 
hides Kawafuji secretly. They get to the bookshop, and just then some schoolmates come in as well, so Honda quickly hides himself, shocking Kawafuji as well. As soon as the girls leave, Honda decides to get out but is stuck. Honda does this because he doesn't want people to bully Kawafuji for being friends with him. Honda always thought everyone hated him, starting when he was still in junior high school, where at that time, Honda first met Kawafuji and became friends with him. One day, Kawafuji expresses his love for a girl. Unexpectedly, the girl turns out to like Honda. Kawafuji then told Honda that someone had sent him a threatening letter. Honda, who was innocent, then believed Kawafuji's words, so since then, he has always had a bad feeling if someone sent him a letter. Honda also always thinks everyone hates him when their eyes are on him, when in fact they admire him because he is very handsome and also popular. Kawafuji tries to tell Honda what really happened, but the young man doesn't seem to have found the right time to tell the truth, since he is enjoying all this. The next day at school, a new rumor spreads about Honda writing poems at the park, and the girls seem to have samples as well. Honda is dumbfounded and cannot understand how such a thing occurs. After that, Aizawa and the others were surprised by the rumor that Honda often sells poetry in the park. Realizing that Honda couldn't possibly do that, Aizawa and the others rushed to the park to find out what really happened. They finally met a young man who claimed to be the real Honda. However, Tsutsui and Nikaido didn't believe it and immediately demanded an explanation from the young man by slapping him. After being threatened by Aizawa, the young man finally admits that he is Hanada K, a big fan of Honda. Aizawa and the others then asked Hanada to apologize to the real Honda for all the misunderstandings. However, they did not find Honda's whereabouts anywhere and instead found Hanada's writing, which Honda corrected very well. Seeing this, Hanada was touched and decided to no longer claim to be Honda and to be himself as he is. One day, two girls at school were surprised to see Honda seem familiar with a beautiful woman. They then captured the moment and shared it on social media, which immediately went viral. On the other hand, Honda was surprised by the writing on his desk. Although the writing was a little threatening and unknown who wrote it, Honda was quite impressed with the writing, which was quite neat. Not long after, the students were surprised by Miyoko, who intended to jump from the top of the building. Miyoko, who turns out to be in love with Honda after the young man gave his rubber eraser to her some time ago, feels frustrated when she learns about Honda's close relationship with a beautiful woman. On the other hand, Honda did not know what was going on. He brought his scribbled table to be replaced with a new one. Miyoko, who saw Honda having a monologue in a room, thought that he said that for her. So Miyoko finally gave up on jumping from the top of the building. After that incident, Miyoko accidentally meets a beautiful woman rumored to be Honda's girlfriend. The beautiful woman turned out to be Honda's mother. The teacher told Honda of that. They suggested Honda try to engage in small talk with his friends. The next day, Honda then followed the advice of his teacher and tried to socialize and speak to others, but everyone seemed to be running away. He tries to talk to Tsutsui, but he misunderstands and thinks that maybe Honda is testing his resolve and jumps out the window to prove his allegiance to Honda. This leaves Honda in a more tight spot, and he feels that he cannot do anything now. Just then, Kondo entered, and he had always been so casual with Honda. He speaks with him, and Honda tries to pick a topic to talk about with Kondo, but just asks how Japan is. Kondo answers casually, so Honda thought that now he had improved and could socialize at school. He even explains this to her mother as well, who is happy that he is getting to talk more and more. The story continues, and we see the student council president, a girl named Tenuiji Sawako, who is also very popular at school because she looks cool and charismatic when wearing a boy's uniform. Everyone loves her, but one of the teachers says that she should wear a skirt. But Sawako says that this way, she can hide the beautiful legs that everyone looks at. She keeps walking and thinks about how popular she is. Even Sawako knows that she is super popular and craves attention. As she's walking, she feels an immense pressure, and it comes from Honda and his four elites. Apparently, Sawako doesn't like Honda because of his popularity. She thinks that Honda is making a team of his own to battle her, but in fact Honda has no idea that he is being followed by the others. Everyone's attention shifts to Honda and the girls praise him for being so cool. This makes Sawako pissed at him, since she hates him for stealing her spotlight. She asks her loyal pet about his weakness, but she tells him that he has none and maybe is hiding them all. She then devises a plan to humiliate him. She sends some of her trusty girls to go and seduce him. They try to jump him, but Honda says some things that makes them feel as if he is talking to them, so they leave thinking that Honda is just too good to be set in a trap. But in reality, Honda was talking to some stray cats. Both the girls report back to Sawako, who tells her that they have actually fallen in love with him, which shocks Sawako. Sawako orders Honda to be brought here, so he is brought along with Aizawa. She explains that he must wear a girl's uniform. One of Sawako's lackeys approaches her and tells him that he can help him wear that skirt. Aizawa so thinks that Honda would look good in a skirt. Honda is having none of this and starts to run away. However, Sawako and the student council members chase after Honda and corner him on the stairs. Unexpectedly, an incident occurs and both Honda and Sawako accidentally fall from the top of the stairs. As she fell, she had a flashback of how she was bullied when she was a kid and never wanted a man's support. But when she regains consciousness, she sees that she landed right on top of Honda. While he was still unconscious, Sawako's friends tell the girl that Honda had saved her by 
sacrificing himself so she would not be hurt. Upon learning that, Sawako immediately felt guilty for Honda. However, Sawako, who hated men because they often underestimated her, became respectful to Honda because he saved her. Not long after, Aizawa and the others were shocked by Honda, who had just woken up from his stupor and suffered a mild concussion that caused him to lose his memory. The next day at school, the students were preparing for the exam. When Sotsui and Nikaido were talking about the exams, they were surprised when Honda greeted them in such a friendly manner. Knowing that Honda is not like his usual self, Nikaido and Sotsui assume that something has happened to him. Aizawa finally told them that Honda had amnesia, and according to the doctor, he would recover in a few days. On the other hand, Honda's drastic change in attitude to discuss at the rest of the girls, who asked him if they could kiss him and get his autograph, but his behavior struck them as odd. They even think that he is another fake Honda, and the real Honda would never act like that. Meanwhile, Maiko approaches him and asks if he really is offering free kisses, which scares the hell out of Honda, and he escapes for his dear life. Aizawa and the others did not stay silent and tried to heal Honda so the young man could return to his usual self. They also planned to hit Honda's head to cure his amnesia with a hammer. Honda, after finally catching a break, suddenly felt a sharp pain in his head. Flashes of his memories slowly begin to return, but just then, he dodges a hammer from Tsutsui, who says that he just wants Honda to turn back to normal. Honda decides to run away, but Aizawa and the others catch up and run after him. Honda reaches the stairs and feels a sharp pain again. He finally remembers, but just then falls down again since Aizawa and the others were going to strike him. Honda returns to being himself, who always thinks everyone hates him. The aura he emitted grew darker and made people become more afraid of him. Aizawa and the others are glad that their friend is back to his old self. A few days later, while going to school, Kawafuji thinks that Honda has had it quite rough the past few days and invites Honda to play after school. He then agreed, but Honda disguised himself by wearing a fake wig so that Kawafuji would not get in trouble for being seen with him. Kawafuji turned out to invite a young man named Hasegawa to play with them. Hasegawa is a friendly young man and quickly befriends Handa, who introduces himself as Hanzawa and that he hails from America. Hasegawa then invited them to play some games. Even though Handa is not good at bowling and basketball and just falls when trying bowling, he even fails in basketball. When Kawafuji went to buy drinks, suddenly Honda and Hasegawa were stopped by Hasegawa's seniors in the basketball club, who then bullied Hasegawa. Honda, who didn't let his friend be bullied like that, rushed to the dressing room to reveal his disguise and helped Hasegawa as Honda. Even though Honda didn't say anything and only used sign language with them, the delinquent students left because they didn't want to cause trouble for Handa. The next day at school, Hasegawa accidentally meets Handa, who drops his papers. Hasegawa intended to help Handa, but he immediately remembered Handa's words, asking him to pretend not to know him when they met at school. On the other hand, Kawafuji couldn't help laughing because Honda still wasn't confident and thought everyone hated him. The story continues and shows a young man named Higashino, who has his own fear of Honda. Higashino wanted to run a race with him because, in middle school, Honda had beaten him in a running competition. Knowing Higashino's phobia towards Honda, Hanada decides to help Higashino race with Honda. However, their efforts were ineffective until Higashino saw Honda running fast one day. Higashino, who couldn't care less, immediately noticed something odd when Honda suddenly jumped to the right side of the road, where Honda was actually being chased by a dog. Feeling that he had been tricked, Higashino disliked Honda even more and was determined to beat the young man. On the other hand, Honda told Kawafuji that he was being chased by a dog, but he didn't know a young man was running with him. A few days later, Honda looked worried after reading his Zodiac predictions. Even though he doesn't believe in predictions, the young man is overthinking because of the warning. Because of that, Honda asked one of his classmates, a girl named Sugumi, to make fortune telling on him. Sugumi was quite popular as a good fortune teller in class, and her predictions were always spot on. Knowing that the most popular boy in her school asks her to make predictions about themselves, Sugumi nervously began to read Honda's line and correctly said what had been weighing on his mind all this time and predicted his future. But Sugumi felt insecure about her skill when dividing Honda because he had a hand that was difficult to read. Because of that, Sugumi was determined to train her skills in divination so that her prediction could be more accurate. A few days later, the teacher distributed the test results to the students, where Tsutsui and Nikaido seemed displeased with their test results, and neither did Honda. Tsutsui and Nikaido, who had to take a supplementary test to improve their test scores, finally decided to study together under the tutorship of Aizawa, the first ranked person in school. Aizawa thinks that Honda is not ranked first, which means that he purposely lost so that they could strive to learn with him. Long story short, Tsutsui and Nikaido finally took the supplementary test, where they met Hanada and Higashino, who also had to take the remedial test because of poor test scores. Hanada and Higashino scrambled to sit on Honda's seat, but Tsutsui wouldn't allow them and wanted to leave the seat empty. But then, Honda comes there and sits on his chair. Nikaido and the others suddenly wondered why Honda took the remedial test because he was an intelligent student. They also thought Honda had forgotten to write his name on the answer sheet, which was indeed the case. After taking the supplementary test seriously, Nikaido and Tsutsui finally managed 
managed to get good grades and thanked Aizawa and Kondo for helping them. On the other hand, Honda did not get a score because the young man forgot to write his name on the exam answer sheet again. The scene then switches and shows a female librarian named Kasumi, who is shy and always spends her time in the school library. Even though the students rarely visit the library, these days, Kasumi doesn't seem too concerned about it because the only reason why she's still doing her job as a librarian is Honda. Honda often borrows calligraphy books from the library, and Kasumi, who secretly likes him, is very familiar with the books Honda borrows from the library. Kasumi, an amateur novelist, slips her romantic novel on the calligraphy bookshelf so that Honda can read her book, which tells a love story about a famous young man and the geek female. However, because Kasumi was being so awkward with him, Honda got overthinking and rushed away from there. Not long after, Nikaido and the others come to the library and realize that Kasumi is Honda's secret admirer. Seeing the empty library, they were determined to turn it into a more comfortable place so that many students came to the library, including Honda. After making a few changes in various ways, Aizawa and the others managed to attract students to the library. That made Kasumi become overwhelmed by the large number of visitors who came. However, now that the library is becoming more crowded, Honda rarely goes to the library to borrow books. Kasumi also feels very sad because she rarely sees him again. In the afternoon, Honda came to the library when it was quiet and returned the book he had borrowed a few days ago. Honda said that the book's contents were very different from its cover. Kasumi then asks Honda's opinion about her that she shouldn't overthink about romance and should focus on her work to help many people. Kasumi also asks Honda not to come to the library again to focus on her job because she will have difficulty forgetting him if he keeps coming to the library. Knowing this, Honda becomes overthinking and thinks Kasumi hates him because the woman forbids him to go to the library. A few days later, Honda and his classmates will go on a study tour to Kyoto, where they will go on a study tour with students from other schools. While waiting for the train to depart at the station, Kondo accidentally runs into a student from another school named Tsukasa. Tsukasa is apparently very impressed with his classmate, Ichimiya Asahi, the most popular boy in his school. Kondo and the others apparently boarded the same train as Tsukasa and Ichimiya, but then they fight with Tsukasa and his friends because Honda accidentally throws candy into the hair of a young man named Jomoto, who is Tsukasa's friend. Not long after, Ichimiya came there and immediately interrupted them all. Arriving in Kyoto, Honda and his classmates went to the temple to pick up the divination paper. However, they all got bad predictions, which was in stark contrast to Ichimiya, who always got good predictions, as if his life was always surrounded by luck. However, Honda did not seem to care about the prediction and chose to pray at the temple. Ichimiya approached him and asked why he didn't separate his friends when they were fighting. Honda said that it had absolutely nothing to do with him. Meanwhile, Jomoto and his friends planned to make Ichimiya better than Honda at the hotel. On the other hand, Aizawa and the others didn't allow him to bathe in the public bathhouse, and it made Honda look gloomy because he was forced to take a bath alone in a special bathroom. Honda then becomes overthinking. He is afraid that Aizawa and the others think he is a pervert. In fact, Aizawa and the others did that to protect Honda from the girls who were so curious to see him. That night, Honda and the others decided to sleep early, but then they were surprised by a doll thrown from upstairs, which was accidentally thrown by Jimoto and his friends. Because Honda was afraid of ghosts, he didn't wake up during the fuss and chose to continue his sleep. The next day, Tsutsui and his friends were again involved in a conflict with Jomoto and his friends. Meanwhile, Honda and Ichimiya are enjoying themselves with their respective activities. They then played a game where Aizawa and Kondo, who were hiding, were finally caught by Ichimiya's friend, a young man named Nagamasa. Aizawa apparently knew Nagamasa because the young man was ranked 98th on the list of the 100 most brilliant students in Japan. Meanwhile, Nikaido confronts a girl named Kojika, who is also Ichimiya's friend. On the other hand, Tsutsui seems to be clashing swords against Jomoto. After that, Kondo met Tsukasa, who turned out to have a similar personality. However, Tsukasa really admires Ichimiya as his idol, while Kondo considers Honda his friend. On the other hand, Honda seems interested in taking pictures. However, Ichimiya asked him to change his clothes. After Honda took a picture with Ichimiya, Kondo realized that Ichimiya had pranked Honda by sticking candy to his clothes. After that incident, Kondo tried to protect Honda, who was about to be targeted by Ichimiya's friends. On the next day, Ichimiya seems annoyed that the girls can't determine who is more powerful between him and Honda, and they become even more attracted to Honda. On the other hand, Honda is separated from his friends, gets lost, and accidentally meets Ichimiya. Ichimiya then asked if he had always felt burdened by his popularity and surrounded by enemies. Honda answered honestly that he didn't feel that way at all, but Ichimiya didn't believe his words and urged the young man to tell the truth. In another place, Aizawa and his companions seem to be looking for Honda's whereabouts and meet Nagamasa and his friends, who are also looking for Ichimiya's whereabouts. They eventually find Honda and Ichimiya on the bridge and are visibly surprised to learn that Honda refuses to befriend Ichimiya. Honda then explains that he doesn't want to be friends with Ichimiya because Ichimiya is a famous person. Honda doesn't want to make other people jealous by being friends with a famous person like Ichimiya. Honda said Ichimiya already had real friends who were very concerned about him. Ichimiya finally realized the true meaning of friendship.
friendship and ended it all. However, Tsukasa doesn't want Ichimiya to lose to Honda and rushes forward to attack him. Aizawa and the others quickly pushed Honda away from there to save the young man, while Kondo stepped forward to stop Tsukasa. Long story short, they all finally reconciled and shook hands before separating. However, they seem to have forgotten that Honda fell into the river when he was accidentally pushed by his friends. The story continues and shows the homeroom teacher, a man named Okayama Sensei, arguing with the headmaster about the policy of no longer performing surgery on frogs in biology lessons. Okayama Sensei thinks that frog surgery is vital in biology lessons so that students can know the anatomy of the frog's body. Because the headmaster and the guardians were also against animal dissection, Okayama Sensei took advantage of Honda's popularity to gain support from the students. Honda doesn't like frog surgery because he thinks it's too scary. Moreover, his mother is also against it. However, Aizawa manages to persuade Honda to vote in their class to determine whether they will perform frog dissection in biology or be replaced with a flower arrangement. Honda immediately became overthinking when the voting began. Honda, who didn't want to be seen as a weak young man, was forced to vote for the frog surgery. Long story short, all the students finally followed Honda's decision to support frog surgery. However, when biology class finally started the next day, there was a fuss in Honda's class which caused Okayama-sensei to cancel the surgery. Especially Okayama-sensei, who thought he was warning him not to kill animals by surgery. Okayama-sensei finally realized his mistake and then ordered his students to release the frogs back into their habitat, and after that, they would do flower arrangement activities. One day, Honda, surprised to see Aizawa's presence near his house, and then ran away. Seeing Honda hurrying to leave, Aizawa even thought Honda was being followed by Honda, then suggested they stay by Honda's side to protect the young man. But Aizawa insisted on protecting Honda from behind the scenes, so it won't raise the suspicion of many people. On the other hand, Miyoko, who is really in love with Honda, dedicates herself to protecting him from female fans who are too fanatic and often annoy him. Like Aizawa, Miyoko also protects Honda from behind the scenes. Elsewhere, Nikaido and Tsutsui, waiting for Honda's arrival, accidentally met Kasumi, who was about to head to Honda's house to submit her novel. However, they are surprised by the appearance of Miyoko, who immediately ambushes Kasumi because they think Kasumi is a rabid fan who always annoys Honda. Meanwhile, Aizawa and Kondo followed Honda, who was planning to go to the cafe to meet Kawafuji. Honda, who knew he was being followed, rushed away from there as quickly as possible. Having lost track of Honda, Aizawa then asked Higashino to look for Honda's whereabouts and monitor his movements via a GPS tracker. Turning back to Nikaido and Tsutsui, where they continue searching for Honda's whereabouts, they spot a suspicious person, who they think is the stalker. However, while following that person, Nikaido and Tsutsui were trapped in the cage of a fierce dog that was ready to attack them. On the other hand, Honda looks so exhausted from having to run away all the time, even though he just wants to go to the cafe to meet Kawafuji. Honda then tried to take a shortcut by climbing a wall to to reach his destination. However, Aizawa and the others were already waiting for Honda there. An annoyed Honda then asked them all not to follow him anymore. Kondo felt guilty for making Honda angry. However, this is not like Aizawa and the others who think Honda said that to the stalkers, not them. Meanwhile, Honda finally managed to arrive at the cafe and met Kawafuji, where he then recounted his experience of being followed by many people on his way to the cafe. Kawafuji, who heard that seemed relaxed when in fact that he was the one who had trapped Nikaido and Tsutsui in the ferocious dog kennel to help Honda. The story continues and shows Kondo, an ordinary boy who doesn't stand out, much less popular than Honda and the rest of his friends. Having always thought of himself as normal, even Kondo never expected to get a letter from someone. He got a letter in a pink envelope with a heart-shaped sticker. Kondo assumed that it was a love letter from a girl. On the other hand, Kondo had a problem. He felt that many people were watching him or glaring at him. Kondo thought people might not like his presence in Honda's group of followers because his mediocre self was deemed unfit to be side-by-side -side with the smart Aizawa, the popular popular Nikaido or the tough Tsutsui. Even Kondo wasn't a runner like Higashino, nor was he good at makeup like Hanada. Kondo, who has no privileges, feels he doesn't deserve friends with them. When he finally met the girl who had sent the letter to him, Kondo realized that his assumptions had been true all along. The girl apparently didn't want to express her feelings to Kondo. She asked Kondo to stay away from Honda and his followers such as Aizawa, Nikaido, and Tsutsui. The girl thought Kondo was an ordinary boy who didn't deserve to be friends with those famous students. However, unbeknownst to Kondo, Aizawa and and the others had been secretly listening to the girl's words to Kondo. They didn't expect people there to think that Kondo didn't deserve to be their friend. Because of that, Aizawa and the others convinced Kondo that they adore him as their best friend and value their friendship with Kondo. The scene then switches and shows the school's Bishujo Comics Club, which consists of three students in danger of being disbanded because none of their comics have been sold. As a student council representative, Aizawa suggested that they make a comic with the theme Honda because he is the most popular student in school, so students will be interested in things related to Honda. But because the three students didn't know Honda very well, they tried to find information
information about Honda's personality. They planned to turn Honda into a female character in their next comic, but then they realized that Honda was not like the average youth because he was very kind and caring, even as an action figure. Because of that, they decided to make a comic that tells the character Honda is a sweet girl who is kind and liked by many people. After making several copies of the comic Honda-chan, they put the copies of the comic on a pile of paper to be recycled. They went to find Honda to ask his opinion on the comic. Unexpectedly, Honda, who got the task of throwing the recyclables into the garbage truck, found a pile of recycled paper and then threw it away along with a copy of the comic Honda-chan, which was put in an envelope. Meanwhile, the three students who found out their comic had been dumped in a garbage truck immediately rushed after the garbage truck. Honda, who realized that a copy of the comics belonging to the Bishujo Comics Club was accidentally thrown away by him, immediately rushed to help them stop the garbage truck. However, Honda immediately became irritated when he found out that the Bishujo Comics Club made a comic that depicted him as a cute girl. Honda's school will hold a culture festival, and Sawako, as the student council president, asks each class to prepare a fantastic performance, because a class that can perform a stunning performance and attracts many audiences will receive prizes and awards from the school. When his classmates were thinking about what theme they would present at the culture festival, Honda sat alone on the stairs while overthinking. Not long after, Sawako came to Honda, asking the young man for help writing beautiful calligraphy for the culture festival. Honda immediately agreed to Sawako's request and then returned to his class. Once there, Aizawa informs Honda that their class will have a performance of the musical Romeo and Juliet, and Aizawa will explain in detail the next day. While on his way home, Honda accidentally saw one of the students from his school being bullied by rebellious students from another school. Honda then hid and was afraid because the rebellious students mentioned his name. At the same time, Tsutsui was already there and questioned why Honda didn't help the young man. Thinking that Honda might be sick because his face was so pale, Tsutsui finally fought the rebellious students and saved the victim of bullying. The next day, his classmates seemed very busy preparing for a musical drama performance, but Honda was asked to just sit and watch them. Feeling very bored from not doing anything, he finally fell asleep until late at night and realized that all his classmates had gone home. Unbeknownst to Honda, the rebellious students were secretly following him home, but when they were about to attack Honda, Tsutsui and the others appeared and immediately blocked them so they wouldn't hurt Honda. Ahead of the celebration of the culture festival at school, the students seemed to be busy preparing everything. The Bishujo Comics Club has been working hard to make up to 5,000 copies of the comic Honda-chan in hopes their comics will sell out. Meanwhile, in Honda's class, the students seemed to be arguing. It happened because of the roles they got in the musical. Seeing this, Honda asked Aizawa his role, but Aizawa says he doesn't need to think about that because Honda won't be doing many acting scenes. Not long after, Hanada came with Higashino, where he then offered them similar Honda makeup services at a fairly low price. Everyone seemed interested in trying it. The day of the festival arrived. The students seemed happy because many people came to the culture festival at their school. Everyone seemed enthusiastic about visiting the exhibition booth, selling all kinds of knickknacks about Honda, including the Bishujo Comic Club booth, selling the Honda-chan comic. Kawafuji, who was curious about the performance by Honda and his classmates, then invited Hasegawa to come to Honda's class. Upon arrival, they were greeted by several students dressed as maids, who offered menu dishes with unique names. After that, they were directed to the audience to watch the musical drama performance, which was about to begin. Honda's class holds a performance of the musical Romeo and Juliet, in which Nikaido plays Romeo and Tsutsui plays Juliet. It's a very absurd and ridiculous show. Kawafuji and Hasegawa were then surprised to find out that Honda played the queen by wearing a long dress and a women's wig. Seeing the presence of Kawafuji and Hasegawa in the audience, Honda suddenly felt very embarrassed and thought of a way to escape. Meanwhile, the rebellious students from Kuro High School come to Honda's school to look for Honda's whereabouts. They bought the Honda-chan comic and liked the adorable storyline. Not finding Honda outside, they entered the school building and headed to Honda's class. But then, they were surprised by the appearance of Hanada and some fake Honda who are very similar. However, the rebellious students found out that they had been tricked and then forced Hanada to reveal the location of the real Honda. But Hanada didn't know anything at all. Hanada then meets Aizawa and the others about the delinquent students from Kuro High who were looking for Honda's whereabouts. Hearing this, they rushed to look for Honda all over the place. On the other hand, Ichimiya and his friends also visited the culture festival at Honda's school and bought the comic Honda-chan and all Honda's knickknacks. When everyone was looking for his whereabouts, Honda sat alone behind the stage, waiting for break time. Not long after, the rebellious students from Kuro High School arrived and met Ichimiya and his friends. However, they got involved in a dispute which led to a fight. Hearing the noise in the room, Honda rushed to put on his wig, thinking the show would start again soon. Honda then appeared on the stage and ordered them all to stop fighting, as per his script's lines. But he is shocked to find out that the show hasn't even started yet, and that it's Kuro High School and Ichimiya's friends fighting. They finally end the dispute, where Kuro High School reveals that they came to be Honda's friends. They finally made peace with Ichimiya's friends, and Honda's class started performing the musical 
until it was finished. Long story short, in the evening, all the students gathered in the field to wait for the announcement of the assessment results from the teachers and the student council members. So Wako then announced that the best selling at this year's cultural festival went to the Bishujo Comics Club, which managed to sell 5,000 copies of the Honda Chan comic. Meanwhile, the award for the best class was given to Honda's class. Because of that, Honda was asked to go up on stage and deliver a speech, but then Kawafuji went on stage and said that he also deserved an award. Kawafuji then tells everyone that he and Honda are good friends and wants to be entitled to the prize too. Suddenly, it made the others angry because Kawafuji was about to steal Honda's gift. Seeing the students fighting and the chaotic situation, Honda immediately felt anxious and overthinking. Kawafuji apparently did this to show Honda that he had not been hated by everyone all this time. Kawafuji then told Honda that they all really admired him and wanted to be friends so that he no longer had to be afraid to socialize. Upon learning that, Honda also told everyone that the award belongs to all who have gone to great lengths to do everything to make the culture successful in their school. The students also seemed happy about it and admired him even more. After that incident, Kawafuji asked Honda to be more friendly and open to his friends. At first, he still looked awkward when Aizawa and the others greeted him in a friendly manner. But then, Honda gradually realized that they were his best friends who had always been by his side and supported him. Well, that's how Honda-kun will be for everyone. Let's hope he lowers his Honda wall and opens up to other people as well. That's all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.